The Minister of Women Affairs, Mrs. Pauline Tallinn, says that unplanned pregnancy is capable of causing rejection and stigmatization for women and girls. Tallinn said this at the launch of the State of World Population Report in Abuja with the theme, Seeing the Unseen, the case for action in the crisis of unintended pregnancy. The national communities are more concerned about our problems. Government has shown so much commitment. Mr. President, I mean, it wasn't coming from me. The chairman of the uh, Association of uh, Family Planning made a statement acknowledging the fact that President Mohamed Bari is the first sitting president that has come out to identify and speak about the public planning issues. The need for us to have uh, enough public planning to support our women and girls. He's again the first city president that accepted and condemned all forms of violence against women. Punish perpetrators of this act. Anybody that rapes a child and kills that child should be killed too. You can't kill somebody and then they allow you to live and continue to cause more damage. I know human rights may not agree with this, or some of the international committee, but until a drastic measure is taken to address this, we will continue to experience this. Because people do what they want and they are not punished, they walk scot free. More will keep doing it. So, all hands must be on deck. It is a societal problem that must be addressed by all women within Nigeria. We must all rise up to the ambassadors to condemn all forms of violence against women and children. It's unacceptable. Earlier, the executive chairman of National Population Commission, Al Haji Nasir Akwara, identified sexual reproductive and health rights as key to addressing unintended pregnancy. Most often, women and girls find themselves in situations that inhibit them from exercising their fundamental rights and having opportunities to take decisions on issues that affect their productive lives. Unintended pregnancy, particularly among teenagers, adolescent girls, is a major health concern and it is associated with high mobility and mortality of both mother and child, including outcomes of malnutrition. Similarly, Mrs. Erika Godson, the deputy country representative of UN Population Fund, said that the real damage caused by unintended pregnancy to the quality of life was complex. Globally, nearly half of all pregnancies are unintended. A starting 121 million each year throughout the world. This is an unseen crisis unfolding right before our eyes. It is a humanitarian issue. Women in conflict zones, those living in refugee camps and other humanitarian settings are at high risk of unintended pregnancy, particularly from violence. These women are too often overlooked in crisis response, even though women in these situations are vulnerable to gender-based violence, barriers, and often face barriers to reproductive health services. Unintended pregnancy, is a development issue. While every country continues to experience uh, sexually high rates of unintended pregnancy, we see strong correlation between the rates of unintended pregnancy and the lack of development. 